Hi everyone, welcome to today's lesson. It's the first day of web development. I'm super excited. I hope you are too. So let's kick things off by starting off. My name is Kaushik. I'll be one of the instructors today. Jeffrey is not here, sadly. He'll be your instructor for tomorrow. Or sorry, the after tomorrow's lesson. Um, just some quick things. So we'll just quickly go over what we'll learn in this course. So this course is geared towards teaching you the basics of web development. It's a very intensive unit, actually I should say. It's only two days, so it's gonna be today, and then it's going to be um, in two days, so that's gonna be the next class. And then if you remember, John Avishi will pick up from there. So what will we learn in this course? We'll just go over what is web dev. We'll go over Figma, which is a tool for um, website design and if we have time I would like to go over the psychology of UI so how does a good user interface make our brain think about good things then we'll be using WordPress or Weebly to make websites uh, we'll focus on the uh, we'll try and see if we can integrate online stores to see how we can sell stuff and then you'll have a capstone project at the end, which will be mostly geared towards building your own thing. So to, to be in this uh, course, or I should say in this unit, you will need a laptop, some way of taking notes, and a smile on your face. That's the last one is the most important. So what is web development? Basically web development, also known as web dev, is designing and building a website to do some functionality. We can plan these layouts uh, using softwares like Figma, which we will use. And then we can build them, uh, we can build them uh, the websites. Uh, I don't know what I wrote in the bullet point. But um, basically we can build those websites using uh, softwares like WordPress or Weebly to make them look professional. In the real world, peop people use HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, which are all programming languages to make websites. But since we're a very intensive course, we won't go over that. So what is Figma? Figma is a UI tool that helps developers plan out designs for the websites. UI stands for user interface and UI is basically what the user sees on their screen. So for example, if I have a website loaded and it has some buttons and something, that's the UI. That's the me as the user. That's what I work with on the website or on the computer screen. Figma is a website which is free, which is free to make an account and we'll be using it for the entirety of this unit. So let's start by making a Figma account. So you all have access to these slides, so I won't go over them, but go to figma.com, get started. Um, yep, yep, all of that, all of that. Okay, um, yep, so once you're done, now we'll just go over some next steps. So now that we have made our Figma account, this is what we're gonna do for the day. We're gonna go over some Figma tools, do some sample designs, and introduce the Figma assignment. If at any point you have any questions, you can actually come see us at our office hours or send us an email of your question. My email is right, actually I'll put my email in the beginning. So now what I'm gonna have all of you guys do is go to this pre-made Figma file. So we're gonna pre-make, these have been pre-made so they're easier for us to practice with. Press the open, this is the URL. You're going to have to go to this link and then press the open and Figma button. Once you're there, you're going to see a screen that looks like this. Go, press the website pages button, which is right here on pages. And then these are all the screens that this app plans to have. So for practice, we're going to recreate these screens. So please, oh yeah. Just please watch these videos to learn how to recreate designs and slideshows. For this course, we'll only be supporting material, keeping, excuse me, keeping definitions and more. So let's transition over to Figma. So this is Figma. Oh, can I make this smaller? Oh, I can't. Okay. Um, 
Yeah, I think it'll. So this is Figma. Let's go to the website pages and see what we're working with. So it looks like we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven screens. So just for purposes, I'm not, I'm not gonna recreate all of them. So first what we're going to do is we're gonna <clears throat> press, we're gonna scroll out using, oh, what's it called? Um, yeah, we're just gonna scroll out of the Figma design and then we're just gonna look to see here. Use as you scroll out, you can uh, just um, move your uh, touchpad, so you can have so you have this. So using two fingers like this, you can scroll around like this. So I'm just moving my fingers in a circular motion like this. So these two fingers move in a circular motion. And if you want to increase or decrease, similar to how you use a phone. You pinch and zoom or zoom and pinch so that'll get you this it's harder to do this so I always do this so like take two screens and then do them like that um, so now what we're going to do is let's recreate the first Figma design so I'm just gonna for purposes I'm gonna move all of these down so we have something nice to work with so I think this is a good time I'll just talk you guys through the UI of Figma Excuse me. So here we have pages. In Figma, you have the cover page. You have a components page. So these are like things that you can include. And then you have all of your website pages. So here they have a bunch of, uh, looks like, see, they have a bunch of pages right here. So they have the home page, which is the page I'm working with. Then we have a bunch of tools at the top, which I'll introduce later or as we go. And then we have our panels here. So we have our design panel, prototype panel. We'll be mostly working with the design panel. So as you can see here, we have textiles. Apparently there are variables were used here. So we won't go over that. Uh, we have the colors that were used and we have an option to export our Figma design. So first, let's start off by recreating the Figma design. So as you can see here, the design that we use is that they use is called homepage. So what we're going to do is we're going to navigate to the homepage. We're going to click on it. And if you see here, they have given us dimensions. So dimensions are just the um, just the sizing of the box. And let's say they don't they didn't name this like I didn't know what this was named I'm oh, probably no, probably should do that but let's say I didn't know what this was named called I could go up here to the rectangle tool or on my keyboard press the R key I can see that I have initiated the tool to create a rectangle now I can just like kind of guess where it is gonna be and if you see, we have these red markers. Those are just like points where Figma thinks that you want to use their design. So we're just going to like trace it. So I'm going to assume that this is just the correct dimensioning. So if you want the accurate dimension, you can highlight over it. And I can see it's 1444 by five, 7539 so I can make this one for and then in the width I can just adjust but we're not looking for accuracy here so now let's go into here and try and build the Figma design so we can see everything in Figma can pretty much be broken down into very simple shapes so if you see here we have the home page so right now, everything is in one background color. So let's focus on that right now. If you see, we have this one big background color. And then if we look at the color styles over here, we can see that looks like they've given us some color styles to work with. So I think that the white brand color is more matching to this. So I will click 
We'll click color styles, color brand. Brand color. Oh, there we go. Found it. So once you, oh my god, once you have your thing, you can you need to press this ed, edit style icon right here, and then you you need to copy this code. So I will copy the code using Control C, or I can uh, right click on my mouse, and then I can copy this. Now what I want to do is I want to click my, uh, this thing, my rectangle, and then it, there's the option of fill here. So I will click this fill option, and then I will control V this into here, and then press the enter button. So it looks like this, oh, looks like I copied over the wrong thing. So, oh no, so this is what I'll do. Another thing that you can use in Figma is called the eyedropper tool. The eyedropper tool lets you pick out any color. So as you can see, I've activated this color and I'm, oh, uh, what's it saying? Yeah, so I'm uh, using this uh, color right here, right? If you can see, it gi it's giving us this code, but I don't need the code this time because if I press it, Look, it automatically did it. Let's say I don't want this color. Um, what do I like? Huh. I really like this color right here. I can make that. What else? I can make it this color. So you have options. But since we're going to recreate it, let's go with this color. Now we have this top bar. So that is also, if you see, that's also just a rectangle. And if I hold, hold, hold over it, it's pretty much just a rectangle because there's a rectangle around it. So I can take a rectangle and just around guess, give it some area padding. We can just guess, make this center. Again, you can hover over the red markers as points of interest. Now what we can do is, um, we can uh, go again with our eyedropper tool, copy that, close it. So now we are, we're now we're starting to get somewhere. Let's bring this slightly down and let's add our text. So for text in Figma, this is what we're going to do. This is what we're going to do. We're going to use the text tool or letter T, and then it is going to ask us to make a text box. A text box is basically a place where you're going to add your text. So, I wealth-wise, as you can see right here, that is a logo. I don't have. I we don't have that logo. So let's try and make it ourselves. So, wealth-wise, right? What was that? What was it? Wealth-wise. Oh, wealth-wise. So wealth wise. Now we're going to close this. We're going to put this up here. So that's our wealth wise. Then we'll, we can add an image or two later. That's not what we need to do, but you can look that at components. So you can look at that. You can look at that. So plugins, which those are stuff that we won't really need to work on. But, um, no, not that. Um, why is that button? Oh, yeah, that's right. So, this is it. Um, so now we're going to looking at their services, pricing, about, and blog. So, let's just type that out ourselves. So, text. So, what is it? Pricing about and blog. Services based price about blog. So looks like let's add a little bit more space in. I just like a little bit more space into it. So this looks 
except now that we see here this logo font and this font are not the same so let's change it so now we need to go and look so see it's a semi bold here this is called our text panel in our text panel we can change properties of our text so now let's go and try and do that so we're at semi bold right let's change that to maybe and when we highlight over this we can preview so look black that made it really thick we extra bold there's bold medium regular light and so far so since this one Since this one looked much thinner than this, let's first lower the text. I think I'll make it about 20, maybe 18. Let's make this regular. How does that look? And then now contact. So that's a white button. So again, we're going to go for a rectangle. We're going to do that, maybe. Yeah, I think that's good. Bring that over here. Actually, no, why? Oh, wait, no. What am I saying? Yeah, that's good. So make it white. Actually, you know what? Let's use the eyedropper tool because I have a feeling that that is not white. Oh, it is. Interesting. Now we're going to actually, no, we shouldn't use a rectangle here because I just realized this has text in it. So that means that we're going to use need to need to use another text box. You're, you may ask how we only have this. So let's try it. Contact. Let's change it to black. Let's change the font. Let's make it, I don't know, 20, 20. Let's do 20. Let's do 28. It's good. Contact. Now if you see, there's another we have another problem. These this is in the middle when this is in the side. So now we're gonna have to change something. We're gonna have to change the text orientation. So we're gonna align the text using our alignments, and then we're going to center the text. And align it in the middle so now we have that there. but also oh well that is not extra black what am I saying that's probably like light um, let's do regular I think it's a regular and then let's do maybe I don't know 20 yeah that looks much better now let's make the whole fill of the text box into the color that they specified. Fill the text box. Oh, wait. Forgot you can't fill the text box. So we need to pull that, we need to push that out, make a rectangle. So as you see, we forgot, uh, I forgot that you can't make uh, you can't fill a text box in um, Figma. So we're going to have to make a rectangle and add a text box at the top to it. So now that we have that, now we need to take this. Let's now fill this. Let's now change the text color to what we had up there. And then, uh, and now we have our contact button see so now we're now our things are starting to look kind of similar there's only one small problem though this has rounded edges this has normal edges let's not worry about that okay now now that we have this let's try and look at these so wow they have a lot of text here how, how would we do that? Well, text fonts. That's how we're going to do this. So we're going to find the fonts that we need. 
So we're gonna take this 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 size of a text box. Just add some. Oh, looks like the text box carried over. So let's fill this to black. Oh, by the way, I should probably mention this is your color mixer. So in your color mixer, using these this slider you can make up to 16.5 million colors just using this color mixer alone so let's just set this to black for now and it looks like i don't want to guess but this font looks like it is a um what's it called it doesn't tell me so i'm gonna have to guess oh that's crazy so looks like this font scrolling through our thing it looks like it's this font in in that Antica. So let's try using that and then make this super big. So how about 40? So now we can do empower. So now we, as you can see, it's not perfect. And that's, that's why we're practicing this. So, and like I said previously, just make sure to, that, um, it, it doesn't need to match, but just make sure that you're putting in a, a, a good effort into it. And let's not worry about these, uh, these images and stuff that they're using. So now, now that let's just say that now we did this, everything's done. Let's change this, like this. Just change this, and then make this smaller. So now that we have something to work with. So now we'll just copy this text. Like it's not a big deal. So looks like this is really small. So let's just make this bigger. I think this is good. And this is also, I think a bit too small. The font is not perfect, but this is also a bit too small. Let's make it, yeah, let, let's do that. Except now there's one problem. See, our alignment carried over. So we're gonna have to now make this an align left so that this can align. And if you really want to do the, if you really want to change the images, you can just copy over the image onto your thing. Copy that. Okay. You can just copy that and bring that over there. So we, you can do that, yeah. There's another thing that we have to look at here. Look at the text, look at the space in between the text. There's so much space. So let's fix that. You see, there's something we, there's something here that it'll change the, um, is it here? Wait, no, it's not here. Never mind. Um, where is that? Uh, is it line height? I don't even know what happened here. Oh, oh, I stroked it and I drop shattered it. Okay, no worries. Yeah, sorry about that. Um, basically, uh, the the property that's gonna help us with this is called line height. So the line height is the distance in between the text boxes. So let's not use auto. Maybe set that to sixty. Um, that's a little bit too close. How about seventy? Seventy seems pretty good for the line height. So now that we have that, let's bring that up. And then honestly, oh, I'm just kind of lazy. So we can copy over the button. Oh, okay. I guess it's a good time to talk about this. Whenever something like this happens where it starts to go behind, you can't find it. All you need to do is 
right click it and press move to front and then it will bring it up. So now that we have this, let's try, uh, let's divvy this up now. So again, let's not worry too much about this. And <clears throat> now uh, let's just try and build this one. So we have this big rectangle. I actually want to find the dimensions of it. So again, let's hold on to this. And then we can see here on our frame, frame tools, that this is 1630 by 725. So again, we're gonna get a rectangle, 1630 by 7625, or 7725. 1360 by 725. 725. Then we're gonna take this, and we're gonna just align it on our POI center. So, Again, let's fill this, and then once we're done filling that, let's not to worry too much about the about us, and let's just get into doing the text. So text, actually, I, I'll copy over this because it seems pretty similar. So now we'll just grab a text box, put that over there, place that on there, learn about providing innovative solutions providing innovative solutions not say we're, we're it's pretty much similar again text is not exactly the way I want it maybe I'll make it 45. And then again, I really don't mind just copying and pasting this because we're not really, we're just looking at the thing. And then again, we can just copy and paste over the image. No, let's not do that. So you may all be wondering, how can I find good images? So what we can do here is actually, we can go to, um, a place image uh, which and if you have a downloaded image you can put that in there or we can go to Google and we can like search in I don't know uh, maybe I don't know I'll just say man drinking coffee I guess so then we'll just use this I don't know maybe this one yeah, I guess we can just do this one. Oh no, this man, this this is better. We'll copy this image. So again, left uh, right click, press copy image, or you can drag the image over and place it in here. Either works. It looks like Figma doesn't like it this way, but I, this is the image that I copied, and then I can put this over like that. And although it's not exactly the same, this is pretty good. So I guess since a lot of these edges are around it, I'll show you how to do it. So remember wealth lies, let's come up here. Let's click on this rectangle and press the border radius button. For our border radius, what we're going to do is let's just use eight, I guess, eight, eight, no, eight, eight. Oh, wait, oh, oh, looks like I might have pressed something wrong. There we go, eighty-eight. Right. Eight. So look at the border. Now it's radius. It's not. I'm pretty sure it's. It, this is border radius is eight as well. But you can always check. Oh, it looks like it's fifteen. So if we really want to do it, it could we could as well place it as 15, and the borders would be the exact same. Um, what else? Uh, we'll, we'll do that. We'll do it for the same here. So I, just choose a random one. Like it really does not matter. Um, I think let's do that. I think it's really personal preference. 
I mean, if I were you, I really don't find much a difference between this and this. It's, it's all really dumb. So really dumb. So your assignment uh, has been posted in the Google Classroom, and each of you will need to recreate it. You guys have five Figma documents. Only pick one, one singular. Uh, what's it called? You're only going to be recreating one Figma document and you're going to recreate a minimum of two screens. Here, I didn't even show you a full one. And if you want like to do more, then you can always continue recreating these. Okay, there's a lot of them. And everything is pretty much the same. I guess this one had really nothing more simpler. simpler. I couldn't really find a much more simpler one than this. But feel free to re re to explore the Figma as you wish. Like we have region tools, then you have you can do arrows, you can do these, you can place an image and video. You have the pen tool, so you can draw like that. The pen tool is something that is used in different softwares, and then you have a pencil tool, so you can draw like that. You have the text tool, you have component widgets, you have a hand. To move you have uh, this thing to comment so there's a lot of tools in Figma okay. well it's been a lot of fun doing this with you um, I will look at your I will review your things and part of your capstone project will be to choose or well, the first part of your capstone project is to choose one Figma document out of a provided list which is attached in the assignment in your Google classroom you will need to do that, and then you will also need to, um, what's it called? You will need to make a minimum of two screens from that Figma document, okay? Well, I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Bye.